Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Project C1. Except we're not in Project C1 today. Um, we've got a starter motor to change on a friend's car, it's a Peugeot 107, which is basically a C1 with a Peugeot badge on it. Uh, and it's a fiddly job, because the starter motor's right at the back, at the uh, middle of the engine. But access is okay once we start uh, stripping a couple of bits off, like the airbox and things like that. So, let's go and do it. So, the reason why we're changing the starter motor is because it is getting a little bit weak when trying to start the car. Um, it has failed to start the car before, but we've replaced the battery. That seemed to have helped the issue. Well, I wouldn't say cure it. It seemed to have helped the issue. But the starter motor is definitely to, to blame on this one. Let's start the car and I'll show you what's happening. So as you could see there, that starter motor hesitated a little bit when it's trying to start the car. So we know the battery's good, we know the alternate is good, I saw that the charging system, it's got the power to start, it's just not starting very well. So that leads me to think that with it being a 56 plate on about 100,000 miles, the starter motor's a bit weak, so let's get that changed. down the back of the motor this way to get to the bottom of the starter motor you'll have to use your hand eyes to make it work but it is there and then you should just be able to see the extension sticking out at the bottom which gives you a sufficient amount of room to get a ratchet on and I'm cheating A note for you, if anybody's going to the States and you feel like cheating or you feel like using your friend like a tool mule, get yourself one of these. It saves you a lot of time and a lot of broken knuckles. So in true British tradition, it is summertime and it's raining. So we've got the Defender out and we've deployed the awning so that we can carry on working underneath in the shelter. So I know that was difficult to see, but there's two bolts, uh, the 14 mils, holding the starter motor into the engine. Uh, we've got those two out, the starter motor's free. Now we're gonna have a look at the electrical connections. Okay, so we've got the, the starter motor free, both bolts are out, they're holding it onto the engine. There's two electrical connectors. Uh, we've got the rubber boot off, which you can just see just above there. So that's the electrical connectors free. Once we've undone them, that's the starter motor free. So, what we can do then is replace it with the replacement. So, as you can see there, we've got the main input, we've got the earth, and that one is just a, a bonding lead that connects that to that. So, let's get the old one out, let's get the new one in, and give it a start, see what happens.
as you'll notice that Toyota, the ones who designed this, um, ignore the Peugeot badge, have left you a lovely great big gap here where you can just happen to fit a starter motor in, or in this case, the little thing that is full of hamsters that runs your car. And don't tell Rachel, but I'll put a sticker on. Right, so this is the old starter motor that we took out then. Um, mechanically, it looks in good shape. Uh, teeth look all right. There's no obvious signs of damage on the body. If we have a look at the electrical parts, they're all reasonably clean and shiny. That's fine, but the problem with it is, and this is the elephant in the room, there is a massive amount of oil. Look at that. There's been an oil leak somewhere. Um, Basically what has happened is this has got some oil on the inside and it's not very happy at it. So what we might do is clean this up, we'll bench test it, uh, I'll do that off camera because that's kind of boring. Uh, and then if that does work I will keep it on the shelf as a spare just in case. So that was a relatively straightforward job. Um, access is a little bit fiddly but it's relatively straightforward. It's two bolts to undo from the engine, two electrical connectors, and then vice versa to refit. Uh, as you can see, like I said, it's greasy. It's got mingy, nasty stuff inside. Um, it's not very happy at it, but it is a Valeo, so they don't really go wrong all that much. So I'm gonna clean it up and I'm gonna see if it works. Uh, if it does work, then I will show you all on Instagram. My tag is just here. And if you did like that, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. Any comments on this one are welcome. I realise it wasn't exactly the most visual, entertaining video or anything like that, but it is what it is with the access that we've got. Uh, if you did like it, you can also buy me a coffee. Uh, link in the description below. Uh, and if you do, then I will make sure that you get your name in the credits at the end of the next video and, and every video going on forward. Uh, but yeah, you know what to do. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you liked it, ring the bell. I'll see you in the next video.